Hey everyone, it's Michelle from Boonbait, and today I'm going to be showing you three different ways to take on Hispori. So if you don't know, Hispori is a sporadic boss that can be found at the Farming Guild. In order to get Farming Guild, you do have to be a member, unfortunately. It's located in the Kebos Lowlands, and you have to be a minimum level of 45 farming to get access, and you also need 60% Hosidius favor. Hispori itself, you could get these seeds just while like, kind of farming all around Gilinor and you need level 65 in order to plant them. And you plant them down in this cave, which I'm gonna show you in just a bit. And the way that you know it's ready to like go and fight it is this flower right here is bloomed. So for my inventory, I'm bringing a bunch of Karamb wands, a combat potion, super anti-poison, definitely need that, a seed dipper, a spade, and the Hispori seed. For my gear, I am wearing Neat's Not Face Guard, the quest point cape, Amulet of Torture, Raid is Blessing 3, Abyssal Whip, Bandos, Dragon Defender, Barrow's Gloves, Primordial Boots, and the Berserker Ring Imbued. I'm definitely wearing like super unnecessary gear right now. I used to do this just with the Abyssal Whip, the Fighter Torso, and then like whatever gear I could afford at the time, and it's totally manageable. I think I actually got my high score with that gear. So with that, let's go into the cave and check it out. So this is Hispori right here. In order to fight it, you go and click it. But first I'm gonna give you an idea of how the fight goes. So whenever it comes alive, you initially have to go and kill these four plants right here, these four flowers. And then once the flower buds are dead, you can go and start attacking Hispori. I like to do it with piety on and I also like use any special attack I may have. At some points it does go and like wrap you in weeds or something and if you don't get out of that it could hit you for up to 40. So if you notice the red text saying that's got you and you can't attack it just click frantically somewhere else till it lets you go. And make sure to also take anti-poison because it does poison you as you're fighting throughout. I'm not even sure what exactly part poisons you because I've never done this without anti-poison. So these flowers are also going to come to life at two other parts during the fight. So his Hispori has 300 hit points. Once you get below 200, they'll come alive. And then once you get below 100, they will come alive. And yeah, I think that's basically it. So let's take our potions and start it. One faster way to do it is to also use a blowpipe so you don't have to run around and kill the flowers. But I always just do like this because I don't really care. And this is the melee version, so you know, why not? And as I'm running, I'm gonna eat a little bit. I always bring way more food than necessary here because every once in a while I will get caught and get hit for 40, so better safe than sorry. Oh, and as you can see, I just got entangled by these vines. You can't actually always see it, so make sure to keep your chat open because it's literally like blink and you miss it. You just see some green wrap around you and then on my computer at least it disappears. And while you're attacking these flowers, make sure to stay until they're actually dead because sometimes I'll go and hit it and I'll start running away and it's like, oh no, it didn't actually hit it. That kind of just sounds like a me problem though, honestly. <laughs> All right, and just like that, she's done. That took me a minute and 34 seconds. My fastest is 107. So this is like a really fast fight. The most it ever takes me is like, sometimes it'll take me like two and a half minutes if I keep getting caught by the vines like several times. And you just clear it right here. And plant a new one. So Hispori has several unique drops. It drops these Anema patch seeds, which are the Ada seeds. Eazor Seeds and Chrono Seed. The only one that I personally keep is Chronos because it can give you the chance of like skipping farming stages basically. The Eazor one, it decreases the chance of farming patches becoming diseased during growth by like 80%. And the Atis one, increase the yield of all players farming patches by increasing the chance to save a life by 5%. Personally, I like skipping <laughs> parts more and you could only have one plant at a time. So this is where you have the patch. This is my Kronos plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that or you could high elk it for 600 gold. I also got irrit seeds, which are worth nothing. So I'm gonna go put that in my seed vault. 
Generally, you don't make too much money at his flory, but there is a one out of 35 chance that you could get a bottomless compost bucket. And if you get those, they're like worth over 200K. So pretty sick given how fast they are. And there's also like a one out of 5,000-ish chance of getting tangle root. And that's honestly the real reason I keep doing it. I'm still trying so hard to get tangle root. I'm at like 26.5 mil farming experience. Still don't have that pet. I'm hoping to get him soon. But yeah, overall, it's like a super easy fight. It always gives you seeds and stuff and only takes like a minute of your day. The seed itself can take 22 to 32 hours to grow, depending like when it was planted. But if you have the chronos planted like I do, that significantly speeds it up. And sometimes like I'll do it at night and then the next morning it's already ready. Really cool, would definitely recommend doing it. And now I'll be doing it with magic. All right, so now that we have melee out of the way, I'm gonna try and attack Hispori with magic. I've never actually attacked it with magic before, so I'm kind of nervous. I'm bringing with me my full ancestral, super unnecessary. I just actually do not have any other magic gear. I have my Ceredoman Cape, Occult Necklace, Raid is Blessing 3, Book of Darkness, Smoke Battle Staff, Chaos Gauntlets, Seer's Ring Imbued, and Eternal Boots. Super unnecessary. You really, really do not need to be this geared up. I just don't own anything else. In my inventory though, I have a Prayer Potion, Super Anti-Poison, a Spade, a seed dipper, a spory seed, and then all the rest is karam ones. And for my spell, I'm gonna be doing fire bolts. So I brought air, fire, and chaos runes. With the chaos gauntlets, this does give you a bonus. Would highly, highly recommend doing family pests to get the chaos gauntlets, they're great. I've never, I haven't really worried about this in a long time, but if you do die in Hispori, you could reclaim your stuff from this dude. And I think it's 25,000 to reclaim it. Just don't die again, otherwise you'll lose it for good. I'm actually kind of nervous about it now. I've never gone with magic, so let's see how it goes. Okay, well, I'm gonna try protecting range. Hopefully that works. This is already taking so much longer than normal. I'm like barely over halfway and I already had to take more prayer potion, so. And just for reference too, I have 89 magic. Oh my gosh. Okay, that took me four minutes and 14 seconds to kill Hispori with magic. Would not recommend. Do melee or maybe range will work good. I'm gonna be trying out range next. <laughs> oh cool, I got two chrono seed and eight irrit seeds. Only worth 312, but the chronos, I will use those. I'm gonna replant another one and head back tomorrow to try out the ranged. All right, so for my third and final Hispori fight, I am doing ranged. For a reference, my ranged is 90. I'm wearing the Armadale Helmet, Ava's Assembler, Necklace of Anguish, Broad Arrows, Magic Shortbow Imbued, and I'm wearing black Dehyde gear with the Pegasian Boots and the Archer's Ring Imbued. In my inventory, I have my supplies to dig up and plant a new Hispori, a Super Anti Potion, Ranging Potion, and then just a bunch of Chrome Wands. Cause I don't know how hard I'm gonna get hit here. So let's go and see. Actually remembering to take my potions this time. You know, while I do like melee, it's nice not having to run around, I will admit. Look at that, just in the nick of time I got him. All right, so that took two minutes and 10 seconds. Let's clear this out and play a new one. I got two Chrono Seed and five Willow, which I'll actually use, so that's great. So overall, I am still going to be sticking with just doing melee. It could definitely be faster though, if you do melee and combine it with Ranger Magic, just so you don't have to run how I did my first round. But as you could see, like, Spore is like pretty easy, and even if you're doing it Magic, which I consider the most inefficient way, you can still get it easily and you won't, you probably won't die. Just bring a lot of food with you and make sure to click out of whenever it tangles you. I don't know if I mentioned before, but whenever you get tangled, if it breaks on you, it can hit you for like 40 hit points. So that's really the only thing you need to be careful about in this boss fight. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave any comments below telling me what gear you used to fight Hispori. Tell me how my gear is like low-key outrageous. I know it is. <laughs> I tried to... Make it a little more simple this round with the dragon hide because this is what I was wearing for doing my Barbarian Assault video. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out me and Rob's podcast, also called Boon Babe, you can find on YouTube and Spotify. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye!